I'm Rod. Thanks for stopping by. Well, today I'm going to do my second unboxing. Uh, the first one was an acoustic guitar I got from Grizzly Tools. This one's going to be a ukulele kit I got from Grizzly Tools. And just like the first one, I am not sponsored by Grizzly. That's just where I got the kit. I thought you guys might be interested. But before I get to opening this box, I thought you might want to see the finished product of the acoustic guitar that I built because I did finish it. Let me show it to you real quick. Well, here's the acoustic guitar that I finished right here. Got a little glare on it. There's the back. I stained it with a uh, leather dye. There's the neck and it took me about off and on about a week and a half working on it a few hours every day, but that's it. And I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I learned a lot about finishing and building it while I was doing that. So uh, now you've seen that, let's get to unboxing this ukulele. Let me change the camera angle and we'll open the box. Okay, so the instructions was in the packaging box, the box that this came in, and the instructions I got for the acoustic guitar I built, and these instructions are about the same. I mean, they're really detailed. They tell you exactly what you need to do. You just follow them, and um, you know, if you've never done it before, or never built one before, it works out pretty good. So uh, they're really good instructions. I like that. So uh, let's open the box, see what we got. And here's another set of instructions they sent. Okay, first thing we got here is the body. All right, and they uh, wrote 180 on it. I guess that's this part number. This is a uh, what they call a fiddleback top. Um, the rest of the body is is uh, basswood. It's got a nice white binding on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to tape that up when I go to to put it together. Um, the body itself is uh, 10 and 5 eighths long and at its widest point is just under 8 and a quarter wide. Um, so there is the body right there. Okay, the neck is just like the uh, acoustic that I did. It's a mahogany neck uh, that you need to put on. Um, and Mine turned out really good on the acoustic, so got a good mahogany neck. Um, this right here is going to be your um, bridge pattern for when you get the, um, the uh, fretboard on it. You can set this on it and figure out where to put your bridge. This is a laurel wood, I think that's how they call it, laurel wood fretboard. Uh, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fret. Um, there's that. Let me move the box. And you got your sound hole rosette. And what do we have in here? Screws are going everywhere. Get a set of strings. Now, um, I, I'm going to put this together. I ordered a set of good strings. I mean, these are probably, they just look cheap to me. They'd probably work if you don't want to buy any, but you can get a set of strings for like five, six bucks online or at a music store. So you get a set of strings, uh, Laurel Wood Bridge. You get Four pins for the bridge. You get four tuners. The saddle. The nut. And everything that you need for the tuners, the washers, the screws, um, everything. Um, these, uh, if you, I don't know if you can see them or not, but that is going to be what you tie to the end of your string when you stick it through the holes for your pin. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good kit. I mean, um, you can buy more expensive kits and that's why I bought this one. I think this one's right at $80. It was free shipping. So this is everything you get in it. You get the body, which is the, um, the fiddle back body um, and the mahogany neck, the frit board, everything you need to put it together. So, you know, I think this is a good kit if you've never built one and you want to do it for the first time, you can go buy a more expensive kit where you have to put everything together, the body and put it all that together. Uh, but if you've never done it like, like me and you're worried about screwing it up like me, 
this is a good place to start because everything's really put together. All you got to do really is attach the neck, attach the fretboard, and then finish it up and paint it. And um, that way, if you screw it up, it's 80 bucks. If you screw up a $200 kit, $250 kit, well, you're out 250 bucks. So uh, I think this one's pretty good. Well, I think this kit for a ukulele kit is pretty good. It pretty much goes together like the acoustic that I did. Only difference in this one is that there are no holes for the neck. So um, I'm going to have to read the instructions on this one. The other one, the acoustic was easy to slide the neck on and stick it on. So I'm going to have to read the instructions on this one. But if you've never done this before and you wanted to build one acoustic guitar or a ukulele, um, you know, I think this is a good way to go because it's pretty much all put together. All you have to do is put the neck on, put the fretboard on, make sure everything's lined up, stain it, finish it, and you're good to go. So I think it's pretty good, uh, a pretty good buy. For $80, you've never done it. It's really good. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you got some information out of it. Um, I don't know how detailed I was, but I don't like making long videos. I try not to make them long, but uh, stick around, hit that like and subscribe because I am going to do a series on when I put this together and stain it and finish it. So uh, I hope y'all have a good day. Like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later.